Fellow citizens, I bring greetings from the Private Sector Foundation Uganda. The challenge of COVID-19 is with us in Uganda. And whether we succeed or not will largely depend on how we coordinate efforts, how we cooperate, the private sector, government, and the civil society, and how we comply with the guidelines that have been given by government. I am urging fellow citizens to comply with these guidelines. Keep the social distance, especially when you are in public. Ensure that you wash your hands before you touch your organs, especially the head organs, and ensure that you sanitize as you enter offices, as you go into your taxis, everywhere you go, and encourage your children, your families, your family members to do the same. As a business community, we are looking at this as a, a big challenge, especially that is going to affect production, that is going to affect distribution. We now have a challenge on transportation and it's going to affect how we market our products and who is going to consume these products. Everywhere else we have had supermarkets are closing and people have been instructed to remain at home. At least so far we have not had that in Uganda. It may come later but that means that we are going to have a lot of constraint in terms of sourcing, especially the basic requirements to use at home. Sugar, soap, water, name it. So let me encourage our citizens out there to use whatever you can get access to sparingly because the prices are quite likely to shoot up. And I want to encourage the business people not to take this as an advantage, not to use the situation that we have as an advantage, to skim off and uh, to, to, to raise the prices of the basic requirements that our citizens should be using.